I'm Tom Merritt from Daily Tech News Show. Here are five things to know about eSIMs. eSIMs make it easy to change what cell phone carrier your phone is using without having to pull out a paper clip and juggle a bunch of tiny little physical SIM cards. This can be a big help when you're traveling. It's an electronic version of all the things an actual physical SIM card has on it to let your phone identify you on your cell phone plan and on the network just without needing the card. Here are five things to know about eSIMs. Number five. You need the right phone. Flagship phones from Samsung, Apple, and Google support eSIMs, but not every phone out there does. If your phone doesn't have a SIM card slot at all, then it probably supports eSIM. But even if it has a SIM card slot, it might still support eSIM, so you'll need to check. Coming in at number four, you can't drop an eSIM and accidentally kick it under the couch. SIM cards have gotten so small, it can be a little nerve-wracking when you're moving them from one phone to another. eSIMs let you move the SIM without having to worry about dropping or damaging it. Up to number three, eSIMs can't be removed. One of the downsides is that if you want to avoid your cell company gathering data on you, you can't just pull out the SIM card. If you're in a situation where you're concerned about being tracked, I don't know, say by a government, and you don't want to turn off the phone, you just want to turn off the SIM, well, you might not want to use an eSIM. Sliding in at number two, you can use multiple eSIMs. Depending on your phone, you might only be able to have one or two active at a time, so you'll need to switch them in settings, but you can switch them. This is helpful when you're traveling between countries, or maybe you're in a border region that might cause roaming charges accidentally. At number one, it's easy to find providers. A great resource, especially if you're planning to travel, is eSIMDB.com. They let you look at eSIM providers by country and then shop around for the right price and data allowance that fits your needs. We are probably headed to a world without physical SIM cards, so getting to know the ins and outs of eSIMs is a pretty good idea. Hopefully, this gives you a leg up on that. And don't forget, if you want more great current tech news and info, we have the source for you. Subscribe to our channel at youtube.com slash dailytechnewsshow and our podcast at dailytechnewsshow.com. I'll see you there.